Bree Pettis hacks cool things from stuff we might have lying around the house. His blog and his Make Magazine podcast, Weekend Projects, have made him famous in the world of online DIY. Tonight, Bree will show us how to turn a disposable camera and a few electronics parts into a high-speed stroboscopic photo rig, which can freeze actions lasting less than a hundredth of a second. Welcome, Bree. Hi, Zaya. Very good to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. So now, why do we need a strobe to capture high-speed images? Well, there are some events that we want to capture that are just a really just happen in a fraction of a second, and it can be really hard to get those otherwise. So let me show you. Here, go ahead and take a picture of me. Okay. As I pop a balloon. Okay. And we're going to try and get the exact moment where it's mid-pop. Okay. Okay. So count me down. Three, two, one. Okay. Let's see if that. Oh, it's empty. There I am. The balloon has popped, and you can even see it down there in the corner. Not a bad photo. Yeah, but we, we really wanted to get it just as it was half popping, and that's really hard. So what do we got here? Well, we're going to use a one-time use camera to be a triggerable flash. And by that, what we're doing is we're doing a hack. And a hack is when you take something that normally does one thing, and you get into it and you make it do something else. So okay. we're going to go ahead and make this from a disposable camera into a triggerable flash. What's the microphone for? The microphone is going to listen for the balloon popping. When it hears that pop, it makes the flash go off. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sticky paper off. I've already done this and I've got one right here. The next thing to do is we're gonna take this apart. Now this is a little tricky. These are made to come apart. Usually they recycle these at the camera place. Okay. You wanna be careful not to touch the electronics in here because there is a capacitor in here. It's, there we go. Okay, so what we've got here is here's the insides. This is the capacitor and if electricity going through wires is like water going through a hose. A capacitor is a bucket. It lets electricity build up in there until it's full and then you can dump it out. In this case, the electricity gets dumped out into the flash and it makes all that energy gets turned into light. Is this gonna be dangerous then or? It could be dangerous if we don't discharge that capacitor. So hold that, don't touch the metal because okay. this is insulated. And go ahead and see those two little pieces of metal. These two? Yep, go so ahead and touch by, them. Just by touching them, I'm gonna discharge the capacitor? Exactly. Nice, and that's it? Uh, you got it. Ah, okay, okay. Yep, you see the little spark? Yeah. That's the electricity coming out. Thank now you. This is safe. Go ahead and touch it again, just because sometimes there's just a little Just to be risk. safe, okay. Yeah, it's always good to just double check. Okay, you're golden. Okay. Perfect, okay, now we can get really get into this without worrying. We're gonna rip off the lens and the shutter assembly. We don't need those anymore. So we're not using this as a camera? Nope. Seems an odd way to take photos by taking apart another camera, you know? We're actually just going to be using the capacitor and the flash and the way that those two relate to each other. Gotcha. Now we're going to take the back off. I'm going to take this mini jack that I've already soldered up here. Okay. And I'm just going to put this right through here. And is the mini jack for the microphone? Uh, no, the mini jack plugs into the flash controller, which then plugs into the microphone. And so now we've got this coming on this side. That just makes it neater. I'll solder up this side. Just gonna hold the trigger and let these melt and then put them together. And then I'm gonna let you solder this side. There you go. Okay. So just press the little gun. Yep. Then you can let it go and it should stay. And you don't wanna breathe these fumes. There just we go. Just like that and then let it dry? Yeah, it cools down and then it's solid. Okay. Now we just need to put it back together and we're good to go. So yeah. are these like Christmas presents that you make for your friends? Here's a high-speed camera. I just made this for you. You know, I gave one of these to my grandpa, who's really into photography. Yeah? He really loved it. Okay. We've got the battery all hooked up, and we're just going to smush it all back together. Okay. And the top goes on there, and you're basically just going to kind of smash it all down. Hopefully, it'll go back together somehow. Just like this? Yep. Right. So now we've got the jack there, and we can test it. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's take this bundle of wire, and one side will go in here. And you can go ahead and plug that right into there. Okay. So this is the flash controller kit, and you can go ahead and get this online for under 100 bucks, or you can even find the instructions on how to make it and solder it together yourself. Great. You can set how sensitive the microphone's gonna be and how long after the sound effect happens till it makes the flash happen. So let's charge it up. Okay. And I'm just gonna snap. Oh, oh. it heard me talking and it went off. It's that sensitive. Yeah, so. Nice. It works. Great, okay. it's all connected. Let's take some pictures. Ready. Now with your camera, I'm gonna go ahead and set this on bulb setting. That means when I push the button down, the shutter opens and it stays open until I take my finger off. Now it's best to do this in really dark light and that'll make for a really long exposure which will give you time 
to make the event happen while the, while the shutter's open. Okay. Okay. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna dim the lights so that it's as dark as we can get it. We're gonna count down, and I'm gonna have you say three, two, one, and then you're gonna push it down. Okay, so I'm ready for you. Three, two, one, cheese. See if that worked. Oh, that's beautiful. There's the shadow of its former balloon self. Oh yeah, I cut it right at the end as it was going. That's quite pretty. Next, we're gonna get a little destructive. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a CD, and when CDs break, they break very dramatically. They crack and they explode, basically. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here, So that we, and I'm gonna have you hit it with a hammer. Okay, let's now, make sure this isn't a CD I wanna destroy first. <laughs> like, okay. Now, CDs, these little particles are gonna fly everywhere, so you wanna put on some safety safety goggles here, some safety glasses. We always want to protect our eyes. And let me I'm go always ahead. destroying things on the show. Are you? <laughs> Seems that way, okay. Okay, watch your eyes, and three, two, one. Did that work? Let's see. Yeah, it did. Beautiful. And that one's very artistic. Very explosive. I quite like these. Thank you so much, Bree, for being here with us. My pleasure. Anytime you want to do some hardware hacking. Good stuff. So for complete instructions on the High Speed Photo Project, check out the Wired Science website at pbs.org. Wired Science.